Hello everyone, welcome to Shine at Home. I'm Pastor Joyce and it's good to be with you again. This is our last week of Sunday school before Christmas and so I'm going to read two stories today and I'll have some activities for you. So let's get started by lighting our candle, turning on the candle, and then we're going to say the litany. Your part is, we wait for you, O God. So I'll do my part, my part first. May our spirits be filled with hope during this season of Advent. Here's your part. We wait for you, O God. Let's do it again. May our spirits be filled with hope during this season of Advent. We wait for you, O oh God. The story that I'm going to read is probably a story you've heard before. But I want to tell you a couple of things about it before we hear the story. On page 22 of Spotlight is a map. It looks like this. Mary and Joseph traveled all the way from Nazareth down to Bethlehem. Here's a closer look. It's a long way. You can see it here on the map. It probably took four or five days for them to walk, and Mary was about to have a baby. So imagine walking such a long way. And in the middle of page 23, you'll see a paragraph that tells about shepherds. You might want to read that if you're interested in what it was like to be a shepherd in the time of Jesus. But let's get to our story. It's in the book, All of Us, and it is chapter, chapter 16, A Surprise Visitor. Elizabeth, the mother of John, had a cousin named Mary. Mary lived in Nazareth. She and Joseph were engaged to be married. The angel Gabriel came to Mary and said, God is with you. You will have a baby named Jesus. He will be called the Son of God. But Mary said, how can this happen? I am not married. The angel said, it will happen by the Holy Spirit. Nothing is impossible for God. Mary hurried to Elizabeth's home. When Mary went inside, the Holy Spirit filled Elizabeth, and Elizabeth said to Mary, When I heard your greeting, my baby jumped for joy within me. God has blessed you and your child. You are blessed for believing God's promises. Mary sang a song. God has done great things for me. God takes strong rulers off their thrones and has humble people lead. God gives food to the hungry and God will keep the promises made to Abraham and Sarah, to Isaac and Rebecca, to Jacob and to Joseph. The next story takes place a few months after this story, after Mary sang her song. It's called Bethlehem Baby, chapter 17. The emperor, Emperor Augustus, gave some orders. The names of all people have to be listed in record books, so everyone must go to their family's hometown. 
Joseph, was from David's family, and so he went with Mary from Nazareth to Bethlehem, the city of David. Mary was about to have the baby. Bethlehem was filled with people. There was no room in the inn, and so they stayed in a place meant for animals. And there, Mary gave birth to a baby boy and named him Jesus. She wrapped him in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger. Shepherds were watching their sheep in a nearby field, and an angel came and said, I have good news for all people. The Savior has been born in Bethlehem. Angels appeared and said, Glory to God in heaven and peace on earth. Then the shepherds ran to Bethlehem in search of the baby, and they found Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus. The shepherds went home praising God. They told everyone they met about the good news of Jesus' birth. And everyone was amazed. Imagine sleeping in a place meant for animals. I wonder what it sounded like when the angels appeared. I wonder what the shepherds said to the people they met. I wonder what God's good news is for us. On page six of Spotlight are some drawings of candles. And there's some different options for what you can write in the candles. Last time, we picked words that describe God. This week, think of some words that you use to describe Jesus. I think of lots of words when I think about words that describe Jesus. I think of baby. I think of hope. I also think about when he grew up and I think about healing and sharing good news. What do you think of? What words do you use to describe Jesus? You can write two of them on two of the small candles. And maybe another day, you might want to fill it in with, fill in the page with words from Advent 2 and Advent 3. And then on Christmas, you can write your hopes for the world on the Christmas candle. That's the large one in the middle. On page 33 is a word search called Searching for Christmas. See if you can find the words from the Christmas story in the word search. If you want to, you can stop the video and just do it on the screen. If you are in kindergarten or first grade, you can get out two leaflets, number three and number four. I'll just show you one that I thought would be a lot of fun. On Number four is a drawing of Joseph and Mary and baby Jesus, but you can decorate it and add the other characters from the Christmas story on the page too. See what you can come up with. And if you haven't gone to kindergarten yet, you'll have two leaflets, number three and number four, that you can work on. Number three has a really cool scavenger hunt on the inside. You'll see that there's pictures. It's kind of a game, bingo game. And see if you can go look around your house and find some of these things. Do you have a Christmas tree in your house? Check it off. How about a Bible? Do you see a Bible in your house anywhere? So see what you can find on that page. And in leaflet number four is a maze that looks like this. 
start at the shepherds and use a crayon to draw a line to help the shepherds find baby Jesus. But don't run into any sheep or any trees. And then you can sing the song, Silent Night, when you get to the manger. I hope that you all have a wonderful Christmas and that you get to spend time with people you love in the next couple of weeks. Let's say a prayer together. You can close your eyes if you want to. God, thank you for the birth of Jesus. We are so glad Jesus is here. Guide our feet on the way of peace and help us to love others as you do. Bless us this week and bring us together again soon. Amen. Merry Christmas, everyone. See you in a couple of weeks. Speak.